So this is a ripoff from an idea from Gary's projects where it does this sort of, but I'm doing it on my style. And anyways, a do-it-yourself bike rack and basket for by with IKEA stuff using Observator. And uh, yes, I'm uh, using his ideas, just remodeling it some. Or you could buy this walled basket, front baskets in chrome style. This is on a Miata, I love the color. And uh, yeah, this might be easier, but uh, let's try it, do it yourself style. I'll show you how. So I'm just bending it 37 and 30, 35 centimeters. Like this, and I just use this rod to push it down. And now I'll do the, the next side exactly the same. One at 37 and one at 35. Just easy go. 90 degrees. Something like that. Oh, sorry, this is the 35, of course. This is the 37. So let's see if it fits on the bike. So now we're at the stage where I mount it, assemble it, and uh, this is how I made it. I got some screws there, and uh, like this with a bracket. This was already there, so I didn't need that. I had to remove this, this uh, reflex. And uh, gonna try to put it here, perhaps. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I fasten it here and here, going like that. Can you see the screw? Yeah, so it's getting there. I'm gonna put some, uh, some, uh, ah, forgot what they called. Bunt bond here and tighten it up. Maybe remove this one. So, but it's getting there. It's it feels pretty okay, but you can't take too much weight on it. So this is how I do the zip ties. I just go one and down and up again. And down. So double and then uh, zip tighten it. So the rack becomes pretty level. This is the zip ties. I'm gonna do some more. But uh, yeah. So it's it's okay, it's already messy, but uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, 10 kilos perhaps, something like that, not more. So this, this length here is 37, so sorry, 35, and this is 37 from here, and, and uh, exactly the same on the both sides. So I'm following the guy. I'm gonna do a link to his video in, in uh, the description but uh, this didn't cost me anything this didn't cost me anything this was already there so only cost for me is uh, this uh, IKEA rack so uh, do it yourself cheap style and uh, I can add a, a, a IKEA basket if I want later on but I didn't I, did, I, I found this more sturdy and I like the, the the design with the with the airflow here. So it's aluminium. This is the only heavy thing, but it's pretty light. You can't do it much lighter, I believe. Okay, so I'm out here now for the first time trying it out at the front carrier and it's working fine. Uh, it's a bit wobbly, 
But uh, you can definitely have something like 10 kilo or something like that. But not much more than that. So, I'm out here on the Tongcheng. Electric motor here and uh, LCD5 here. So, that's all I'll show you. Give you a little ride. <laughs> Nothing having there, but it feels pretty stable. Almost lost the gloves there. But again, it's a bit wobbly. The, the pipes are a bit thin so when you turn it down you get a, you get a bit slope here but that's just the uh, nature and uh, yeah and this perhaps just a tad too thin would prefer a bit bit thicker maybe but it's but it's pretty light doesn't weigh much I mounted a reflex here in the front and yeah as I said we got a good attachment here I could tighten this a bit use a bit thicker L shape aluminium but we'll see how long it lasts then using uh, these stripes here and the nut here We'll probably tighten that one a bit too. Maybe use a short, shorter, shorter bolt, bolt. Yeah, and just tighten it down here. I do think it's best to use the same one. I, I could go here also, but not all forks have them. This it's more common, so I made them for that. Yeah, for you guys don't know, using a tong shank. It's a uh, torque driven, so I push it, you you get the drag. I prefer that one to the BBS 02 that the Pafang has. This is Tongsheng TSDZ. I have some other videos of it if you want to check it out. So we got a railway here. So it's pretty perfect for small items. And let's go get some. Let's do it again. So it's holding for for small bumps and so on. It's almost as I fall out instead. So, it's a bit small, you can use a bigger basket, but it seems to be working for me at least. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for the interest and shout out to the guy with the idea, the IKEA Observateur idea. I'll give him a link down below. 
So, cargo. I'm, I'm using this bike as a main cargo bike. I'm gonna put a rear carrier also and uh, just use it as a cargo bike. A green cargo bike. Colorful cargo bike.